to you what is Michael Jackson's best album because I have a controversial take on this kind of some people might agree with me I don't know but my favorite Michael Jackson album and the one that I'd prefer to listen to over any of his other albums is <laughs> off the wall his uh, 70s disco album which came out near the end of disco's lifespan and to be honest I think I hmm, can't that it is the only disco album I listen to. I mean, I like ABBA's greatest hits and Bee Gees and stuff like that, but in terms of a studio album, it's the only one. So when I say it's the best one, I'm saying because I enjoy it. Uh, obviously, if I listen to one of our ABBA's albums, for example, and it blows me away, maybe there's one better. But this is Michael Jackson's best album. Um, and I did p pick, the, blah, pick it up on vinyl from Amazon because I didn't really have a choice um, but this was a few weeks ago and I wanted to film an unboxing but that was it that's all it comes with that's just you know, there wasn't much there besides showing off the picture disc which I will do now um, so it comes in a nice sleeve and just I mean guys lovely smile that really really cheesy 70s Michael smile and just that, that's like, I mean, as far as picture discs go, that's so, it's not like the best, is it? Um, but it does come with, I don't know whether the original album come with this as well, probably did, but the lyric sheet, um, which I thought, obviously Quincy Jones production, this is the first Michael Jackson album that he would produce after they met on the, um, it's the Wiz, they met on the, what's the word? They met while filming the, the, t the movie, The Wiz. I can't speak today. But just Girlfriend is by... This says McCartney. Girlfriend was written by Paul McCartney. It can't be Paul McCartney, can it? But it must be. Jeez. Really? Anyway, um, I love a lot of the songs on this album. I love all the songs on this album, but... Some of them are a bit cheesy. Uh, case in point is Girlfriend, which apparently Paul McCartney wrote. That can't be Paul McCartney. Just the lyrics are really, really dumb. I'm sorry, but they are. It's the only like negative I have with this album. Just the, the really dumb and cheesy lyrics on Girlfriend. But the, the bass line, especially on... I mean, it sounds amazing on my phone, but on vinyl, the bass is just spectacular spectacular on songs like um, Off the Wall, uh, Get on the Floor, Working Day and Night, and then of course uh, Don't Stop Till You Get Enough, brilliant, one of his best songs, and Rock With You, which is my favourite Michael Jackson song. Um, Off the Wall, the title track, is brilliant. I love, love, love Off the Wall. Um, She's Out of My Life, which is a slow ballad. It kind of it has a, like a different pace and a different sound to the rest of the album, but it's I still love it, and I love Michael Jackson's voice on it. I can't help it. Burn this disco out, and it's falling in love. It's the falling in love. Just it's really cheesy this album, but it's brilliant. The the bass, the guitar, the beat, the it's so upbeat and uplifting and groovy and just it's just something so special about it. You know, it makes me, it's one of those albums that makes me happy to listen to it. It's the opposite end of the Smiths. It's just so upbeat and joy. I stick it on and, you know, it's just really uplifting. And to me, I'll put it over here. <laughs> to me, this is Michael Jackson's best album. Now I have, I'm not going to get it out now because it's an old one. And I'll be dying. But I have Bad, an original release of Michael Jackson's Bad, which my parents gave me as a hand-me-down. And um, Thriller. And I know that stylistically and really Thriller, for most people, is Michael Jackson's best album. Because that is the one... I mean, Thriller is the best-selling album of all time. So, you know, that is like the mainstream album from... But that can't speak. But for me... 
It's definitely off, off the wall. It's Michael Jackson's best album. But what do you think? Tell me in the comments. What is Michael Jackson's best album?